It is not assault rifles, it is hunting rifles. Let me list, list off some of the rifles. The Montefeltro Super 90 Turkey, the Mossberg 715T, Tactical 22 Duck Commander, the Benelli Super Black Eagle Ducks Unlimited. These are firearms specifically designed to hunt small fowl and to go after vermin and other farm pests. Why won't the government target real crime rather than targeting farmers and hunters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I assure my colleague that we're going to work with the members of the Standing Committee on Public Safety uh, with regards to this amendment. But more importantly, our goal here is to target those assault-style rifles, those AR-15-style guns, which have been used in far too many casualties in port au in Quebec, in, in Ontario where most recently we saw two frontline police officers gunned down. Mr. Speaker, I don't know how anyone can look the families of the victims in the eye and say that we can't do everything that is necessary to, to take these guns Here, off here. our streets. These AR-15s have no place on our streets, Mr. Speaker. The leader of the opposition. Well, he's doing nothing to take uh, dangerous guns off the street. In fact, 82% of guns used in crime in Toronto, according to the city's police, come smuggled across the border. He's done nothing about that, but he wants to spend another billion dollars wow. going after uh, rifles and shotguns that are specifically designed and used by hundreds of thousands of law-abiding and licensed Canadians for hunting. And these are law-abiding people who have been vetted by the RCMP. Why does he keep targeting the lawful people rather than keeping the illegal guns out? Yeah. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, uh, my honourable colleague from the Conservative Party can continue to spread disinformation, but I will tell you very clearly that on this side of the House, we are targeting those AR-15 style guns which have been used in mass casualties. And this is part of a broader plan, a plan that will actually eradicate gun violence. Mr. Speaker, he talks about supporting CBSA. This government puts $138 million into the CBSA to stop illegal smuggling. What did the Conservatives do, Mr. Speaker? They voted against. That's wrong. They should support frontline law enforcement so we can stop illegal smuggling of guns at our borders.